Oh, darn it. Darn, that was a fail. Well, I might as well just keep going at this point. All right, let me just sit down with my overflowing coffee. Let's talk some Apple news. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Austin. In this channel, we talk about tech, unboxings, reviews, sneakers, pretty much anything that is relatively cool. But today we are talking about the brand new 13 inch MacBook Pro. Now, right off the bat, I have to say I'm very happy so far from what I've seen because I had the 2019 MacBook Pro and I hated that thing's keyboard. The butterfly keyboard, you've probably seen every single tech YouTuber basically just hate on it and with good reason. So with the new one the first thing i want to talk about is the keyboard change the keyboard is the magic keyboard which is the same as the 16 inch macbook pro and the brand new macbook air as well so it's going to be a much much better keyboard no more sticky keys the best way i think that we can really talk about the new macbook pro is basically comparing it to the 2019 i find a lot of youtubers will talk about the new one and just spit out numbers and stuff and then call it a day and it's just like we don't really know what those numbers mean so let's go ahead and compare the 2019 macbook pro with the 2020 so the first thing is the price so pretty much the price is staying the exact same so you guys don't need to worry about spending more then for the processor we're using a quad core 10th gen i5 and you can actually configure it to the i7 for an extra 200 dollars in the checkout process and then price for the new macbook so you're starting at 12.99 and it goes all the way up to two thousand dollars and this is just for the base model the fully spec'd out one literally adding everything that you possibly can comes to 3,599 bananas. It's a big price to pay, but it is going to be a crazy machine to have. And you can configure it all the way up to four terabytes of storage. And then for the appearance, it pretty much looks the exact same as the 13 inch from 2019. Very, very minimal differences. It still comes in space gray and silver, but you need to get space gray. There's no debate between which color you should get. It's always space gray. The new MacBook Pro weighs a tiny bit more, 0.3 kilograms. It's in the chart, so I thought I'd just mention it. So, you know, it's not really a big deal or anything, but it is a tiny bit heavier. So the first major change is going to be the storage. Now with the new generations, they've pretty much doubled everything. And it's the same with the MacBook Pro 2020. So your base model is going to start at 256 gigs. The 2019 was only 128, which that fills up pretty quick nowadays. So it's good news that Apple is pretty much bumping all of the storage up on all the devices right now. RAM or memory has also been upgraded as well with the 2019 you would start at 8 gigs on your base model and you and you could bump it up to 16 with the 2020 macbook pro 13 inch you can actually spec it out to 32 gigs which is going to be huge your display is the exact same as well so you are looking at 2560 by 1600 ips wide color with your true tone display so the exact same thing as last year your graphics card will be the exact same as well so so far there's not really huge huge differences in the new MacBook and then the keyboard of course which we know is different like we talked about in the beginning of the video so you're going to get the magic keyboard and not the butterfly keyboard and I think this is the biggest and nicest change really with the new MacBook is just having a keyboard that actually feels good and just prevents you from having that problem of sticky keys because once again I had the 2019 MacBook Pro I got the sticky keys situation like two times and it was the most frustrating thing ever I couldn't use the letter T and a lot of words have the letter letter T in it so I was pretty upset a lot of the time <laughs> Super frustrating, but I'm glad that problem is gone. Your camera is still 720p, which is very frustrating because, you know, if this thing could record in 1080p at least, I could sometimes use that for video clips for the channel or even just Skyping with people or video chatting. 720p is just too low in my opinion. I think they should try to bring it up to at least 1080p. And 720p isn't honestly that bad. I just prefer higher quality. The audio on the MacBook actually got an upgrade as well. So in the 2019, you only got stereo speakers and with the 2020 you get stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos support. And then for the battery, you're pretty much looking at the exact same thing as well. The exact numbers is 58 or 58.2 watt battery life. And it's the exact same thing in the 2020 MacBook Pro that was just released a day ago. So guys, the biggest takeaway that I would really look at when I'm looking at this, your RAM is better, more storage, more memory. The butterfly keyboard is finally gone. You get the magic keyboard, which I love it. And I would say that's really the big points that really come across when looking at the new model. And then there are all 
also minor upgrades but nothing huge and substantial i would say like really the big reason why i would go 2020 versus 2019 is specifically because of that keyboard that alone in itself would make me want to spend more money just to get an actual good keyboard that isn't going to frustrate you and cause headaches but yeah guys that's pretty much it for the new macbook pro i'm kind of torn if i should get a laptop again because i did get an ipad pro to basically substitute out for a laptop but i kind of miss having a laptop i don't know i'm kind of like on the fence still like my ipad can pretty much do everything that the macbook was doing for me but i kind of want to get another one i don't know but guys leave a comment down below of what you guys think about the new macbook pro personally i think it is worth it you know you're looking at the exact same price as the 2019 one except with a lot less problems that we know of so far that keyboard problem was just huge and now that it's fixed i think a lot of people are going to go get this computer or even sell their old one and get some money and buy the new one but this is definitely a step in the right direction and really correcting a couple of the problems that have been there from the last model but yeah guys thanks for watching apple news with austin i am going to go drink my coffee and edit this video for a couple hours i hope everyone is staying safe and healthy during quarantine and if you guys haven't make sure you subscribe and like the video the channel has blown up over the last month and it's actually pretty cool to see like every time you go on your youtube studio you have more subscribers and views and watch time and all that and basically that means that you guys are enjoying what you're watching and i'm enjoying producing it so make sure you guys subscribe and, and like the video to see more lots more content to come i hope everyone is staying safe and healthy have a great day and i will see you guys in the next one